this laboratory practical number two, uh, we're going to actually look at uh, the workability of fresh concrete. So you'll be mixing concrete. Uh, what we're going to do is actually uh, test the slump, okay, how the concrete is slump. And then we're going to take the same concrete that we mixed to make, uh, to make test cubes for our laboratory practical number four. So in this lab, actually, it's all about uh, the characteristic of concrete. Aggregates, water, and cement. So you have three materials you need. Aggregates basically have two. You have coarse uh, aggregate, right? And coarse aggregate, we use gravel here, right? And then we have fine aggregate. Here we use sand. The next materials we're going to use is of course cement, Portland cement. Uh, in these uh, laboratory practicals, teamwork is necessary because you're not going to do this alone. You will have to depend on each other. So you need to coordinate and structure your group. Okay, who does what? Who does it? That is uh, the role of the leader in the group. So I'm sure that uh, you have assigned one person. Okay, in that group to be your leader. So he's going to actually coordinate it for you. So basically, you need to structure and coordinate. So here. Okay, here. Now, as I say that, we're going to mix the concrete. So we're going to use the aggregate cement and water to mix the concrete. There are three types of mixture you need to use. One to two to four. One to three to six. One to one and a half to three. Okay. As I said, uh, when you choose one part, this one part is meant for cement, okay? Uh, this part two is actually for the set, okay? And this part, the third part, fourth part, will be your gravel. Now you must be wondering why do we have one part cement, two parts of sand and four parts of rubber. Just look at it this way. You can actually make concrete with just cement and water. You have only cement and water without the aggregate. How are you going, once you mix the cement and water, how are you going to actually put it in the quantity? It has to be, we say, waterproof formwork, okay, mold. The other part is that then you'll be using a lot of the cement, so it will be more expensive. So usually, <laughs> we use the aggregate, okay, as part of the concrete, so that the aggregate is going to shape the your structure. Okay, now, uh, because sand is more expensive, okay, than the gravel, and it's because when I say expensive, it means that you're going to use more sand. Okay, because of its fineness compared to gravel. Uh, so that is why you use less sand compared to the gravel. The gravel is actually bigger. Okay, I'm going to show you later. It's bigger. So whichever part is going to be filled by the sand. Okay, so that is why one part goes to the cement, two parts, the, as you say, even the middle part here, it so all goes to the fine aggregate and the larger part, the third part will go to the coarse aggregate. So we're going to mix this. Now where does the water comes in? So in this lab materials, you're going to use a water cement ratio of water to cement ratio of 0.6 and 0.8, which means that one part of cement, okay, you're going to use 0.6 part of water. That's what the water cement ratio is all about. Okay. All right. In this, basically, for each of the concrete mix, you're going to have two mixers. Right. So all together, we're going to make in this practical lab six concrete.
six type of concrete. Okay, six type of concrete. Okay, so from this six type of concrete, you're going to make the test cubes. Okay, uh, for our laboratory practical number four. calculate the uh, weight for the cement and gravel to use okay okay as i said uh, you need to coordinate your group members who prepares what so we prepared here i prepared here materials to uh, mix a concrete of one to two to four now i have here the sand okay this cement is actually 2200 gram it is in a manual please read your manual Okay, for different concrete mix, there's different cement uh, amount of cement that you require. So I've taken 2,200 gram of cement. This is uh, 4,400 gram of sand. Okay, and then this it will be 8,800 gram of gravels. And the water uh, is 0 0.6 here. So we're going to mix a water cement ratio of 0 0.6. So 0 0.6 out of 2,200, you get about 1,300 plus gram. Okay. So uh, here the here the lab assistant is going to first what to mix. I mean the aggregate. You're going to mix it together. Okay. the concrete so what another student need to do is that take the mold that will be the cone shape uh, mold which is going to be used for the slump and what the student is going to do is that oil the mold so that it will be easier okay you also need to oil the platform so there's also another student need to do is take the concrete mold which you're going to use for the uh, concrete uh, cube okay to build the cube so again as i said this is all about coordination so rearrange you know those in the group who does what so that you don't actually uh, you actually save time so you can do all the six concrete mixing because you need a lot we only have say two to three hours to do the concrete mix okay so you can divide if you have five people in your group right so maybe two person will do the one concrete mix another two person do another concrete mix okay so leaving one person actually looking after the mold all right so that will save you much time so you can do work at one go okay as i said uh, after we have mixed the dry ingredients so you can see that there is no longer uh, the color of sand which is means that the gravel and the sand mix well with the cement then only you pour the water and then you mix the whole it's like baking make it a cake so make sure make sure that all the none of the materials without now make sure that you wet it on. One 
one person need to hold the mold because you cannot don't move the mold. So one person and you need to divide three parts, okay? So don't fill all the concrete inside the mold. So you need to do it part by part. Uh, so fill one third of the mold with the concrete. Okay. Okay. Do it carefully. Alright. Okay, after you have filled one third of the concrete in the mold, you need to use the steel rod. Okay. Tap it for 25 times. You want to make sure that every part is filled with concrete. Okay? So you don't have air and pressure inside there. And the balance, you need to actually fill it to the top. Then you level it off. And you okay, level it off. Alright? So level it off. Now the next thing is to clear it off. Okay, try to clear this off. Alright. And slowly leave the mold. Now do it straight. Okay. You're gonna do it straight. Not too slow, not too fast. Alright? Okay, do it straight. Okay, lift the mold up. Okay. You don't have to shake it. Okay. Alright. See the, the, the concrete is slumped up. So you're going to take this mold, put it side by side on the flat platform. Okay, you're going to actually measure the slump. Okay, from this in the middle part to the top of the toy. And that measurement is what you're going to record for. That will be the slum for the concrete mix. Okay? so that you know which is which so this is one to two to four and to this date custard is make sure that you put the date custard high and water cement ratio okay and if your group is group a so you put it and then leave it for 24 hours so, so that the concrete is hardened, all right? Uh, you're going to come back. You're going to assign one of your group members to come back here to demold the whole concrete. Okay. You're going to actually demold or take out this mold, all right? Make sure that you label back the concrete using a waterproof marker, okay? Uh, you need to put back the concrete mixture, 1 to 2 to 4 or 1 to 3 to 6. Make sure that you also indicate the water cement ratio and the date casted and if possible your group number. Okay, make sure that you see the lab officer first, okay, before you demo this so that you actually get all these uh, apparatus from them, okay. So, please show us Mr. Wong. Now, after 
have removed this concrete cube, please make sure that you put back the mold. Be considerate, as I said. So as you once you demold it, put it back. All right. So we're going to take these concrete cubes that we make. All right, and we're going to cure it for fourteen days. The curing process is actually a process where we actually moisten up the cubes. Okay, so we're going to make sure that the concrete internally is well, uh, as you say, uh, well mixed or take its time to build its character, okay, to build its strength. So we're going to lean, we're going to put this in the water tank. Make sure that it is fully submerged in the water, okay. It has to be fully submerged. Leave it for 14 days, okay. Uh, after 14 days, okay, on your before you actually start your laboratory practical number four, you have to come in at least two hours earlier. So the best is that if you have your lab actually in the afternoon, okay, you come in in the morning, say eight o'clock, take these concrete cubes out, okay, and leave it dry. Now, if your lab session on the for lab laboratory number four is in the morning early morning my suggestion is that you come in a day before that means in the afternoon okay a day before before you left the campus you take this cube out okay you dry it and then the purpose is that you have to take it earlier because you need to ensure that it is dry first before you actually proceed with your laboratory practical